product development and design really goes back to, you would say, 100 years back to two of our founders, Benjamin Holt and C.L. Best. Form and function were kind of seen as two different things, and function was really the much more important thing to the two of them. And there was a push in the 1960s, a look and a feel needed to be across the product line and, and across models. So we formed this industrial design department and they kind of were able to show that value of the look and feel and the aesthetic of the machine and the importance of that. As we've grown our craft, as we've developed, we've moved from those who just simply draw or sketch pretty pictures to those who are truly integrated into the entire uh, design process. And so over those years, the technology has changed. Most of our concepts today still begin with a sketch. But how that sketch is created has changed drastically over the years, from pencil to paper to now bit pad and stylus on a computer uh, in a virtual environment, uh, even sketching in three dimensions. It's amazing the tools are now available to us to create ideas and concepts very quickly. What that allows us to do is, is actually something we've been talking about it for decades, just that you know, someday we're going to get there where we can draw 3D shapes in space and, and not have to interpret 2D sketches into 3D. So we're able to bring in reference geometry from existing machines and uh, sketch around them in the round in 3D. And we know we'll have space for the things that are needing to be covered and we know we'll have access where we need to be able to reach things because we see the real geometry in true scale. Before virtual reality, we would uh, have two or three different design ideas. We'd paste them up on a, on a wall and we'd all go into the meeting room and we'd say, oh, we like this, this, or this, and then we'd focus on one and then we'd iterate on it until we'd have a product to sell. But in virtual reality, we don't have to really limit ourselves. We can bring in multiple versions of something, lots and lots of different ideas. It doesn't cost anything to throw them into the cave and actually look at lots of different options. But the great thing is that the fundamental core creative abilities are still there. It's just a matter of using, frankly, a much more expanded tool set to do that. Technology and the tool set have changed, and yet the fundamentals are still there, and that is we're going to leverage the creative process to deliver something brand new, something fresh, and something very representative of the cat brand.